I just put it on the electric car. I'm going to do the animation. Hey, Draymond mentioned that the strongest voice, can be heard, especially in games six and seven of the last series, was yours. What kind of emotion and aggression was bubbling up inside of you as you guys conquered those two elimination games? A ton of passion. Especially when NBA championship on the line. Just leave it off on the floor, as I say. You feel like your voice is valuable in this moment because you are on the quieter side. Uh, all voices are valuable, but I just try to speak and I feel like it's important. And uh, it's that simple, play hard, and speak and I feel like you can go away somewhere. Clay, are you surprised it's Cavs and Warriors again for a fourth time? Um, not really. I mean, I knew the Cleveland, I, I actually, to start the year I thought Cleveland had a great shot, I thought we did too. So I'm not too surprised. But, uh, familiar with the situation, obviously. Uh, just excited to get it tomorrow started. How does How these guys have been best in the postseason in the match for the game to go all the way there? You're considered big favorites in this series. Can, can you manufacture some of that adversity, or, or do you feel it naturally? Yeah. We don't want to go through the ups and downs of the last series. That will hopefully don't do that this series. Obviously, win tomorrow. Have fun. Start the series off right by the point as we can tomorrow. So it's um, go from there. I don't know. But who knows how it's going to go. It's hard to say when we sweep them right when we win the five or six. You just never know. It may be a, uh, I mean, look at you know, last series, look at the Cavs, these two finals. Both teams were up down three two. And I don't know if there's a good probability that both teams come out and win, but yeah. Like, could it be a bad thing for the NBA to have the same two teams in the finals every year? Can you go here? Uh, I don't think so. Because uh, the NBA got to get better. It's not our fault. And uh, I'm sure if you ask the fans of the Warriors and the Cavs around the world, whether it's the Bay Area or in Cleveland, um, I'm sure they're happy with their team performance. So I don't know. The only people I really hear saying that are fans from other teams, which is natural. I don't, I don't blame them. But, as long as our fan base is happy, that's all that matters. Clay, how does the dynamics of this lineup change with Andre out for game one? Oh, man. We missed him severely since he's been out. But uh, Vaughn has done a great job in starting the lineup. And uh, whoever we insert there, you know, we have much better when Andre comes back. We definitely miss no. all the intangibles he brings and the experience. He has a problem down the piece, so we'll definitely miss his presence game one. You guys have been so good in third quarters. What, what is it about flipping that switch come, coming out of half that uh, gets gets this team going? Probably the embarrassment of our performances the mic is in, there. in the first half the of the postseason. But luckily for us, 48 minute game, so you can never count us out even when we're down here. Reaching this moment is everything you guys play for, but it must be physical and mental goals. Checking in with how are you guys doing to reach this point. Feeling great. It's honestly harder getting here than performing when you get to the stage just because you can play with the game and knowing the end is here helps. But um, getting this point is a long grind and it should not be taken for granted that we're here for four straight times. It's not normal. So uh, we want to make the most of it. And I know our fans are excited. It's pretty cool to see them at 13,000 strong watching game seven in this arena. Hopefully, we bring that same energy tomorrow. 